Welcome back to the Crypto World channel, everyone. My name is Josh, and this is an emergency Bitcoin and Ethereum update. Bitcoin over the last 24 hours has blasted past these massive resistance levels that I've been mentioning on the channel for a while now. And as you can see, for quite a while, these levels have been proven to be incredibly strong resistance for Bitcoin to get above. And right now, as you can see, we have begun to break out of these resistance levels. So the bullish trends for Bitcoin continue and the same is happening for Ethereum as well. Seriously, this is an important video to watch. So make sure you're watching this video all the way through. And yeah, just before I jump into my analysis for Bitcoin and Ethereum, please make sure to just quickly leave a like on the video down below. And also, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to just subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on for more videos like this one. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos each and every day to try and help you make money in crypto. So if you could just spend a couple seconds to go down and click like and subscribe, I seriously appreciate that so much and it helps out the channel a lot. We are so close to 5,000 subscribers in this great small community that we're building here. And yeah, once again, all of your support just means a lot to me. I really appreciate it. But yeah, anyway, with all of that out of the way, let's get straight into what this video is about. So right here, we're obviously on the Bitcoin to US dollar chart on the two hour chart. And once again, these two resistance levels on the chart, I've been talking about those two levels for quite a while now on the channel. This blue line is the $51,500 level and the red line is the $52,500 level. And once again, just scrolling out, seeing what happens to Bitcoin throughout this correction, pretty much every time Bitcoin tried to come up towards these lines of resistance, we got a massive correction as you saw back there. Once again, it happened yet again just here and it happens just about a day or two ago now. But as you can see, we've finally broken above these massive lines of resistance just within the past 24 hours. I told you guys that in my last video, these price levels are exceptional price levels to be dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. And I literally said in my last video that Bitcoin will most likely be going sideways while it's below this level. And obviously, as you can see, that's exactly what happened. And then I said Bitcoin will begin to build momentum to break these levels. And as soon as it does that, it will explode to the upside. And so far, we've seen pretty much exactly that. For example, as soon as we broke this initial $51,500 resistance level, Bitcoin immediately exploded about $3,000 to the upside within the next few hours. So yeah, congrats to everyone that was buying Bitcoin when I was saying to buy Bitcoin in my last video. And if you're new to the channel, if you missed out on my last video and you're wondering where you should be buying into Bitcoin or if you should be selling or whatever, once again, I said this in my last video, but for all the new viewers on the channel, any buys that you get that is currently under the all-time high, which by the way, the all-time high is currently sitting at just above 58,000 US dollars. And honestly, getting into Bitcoin below 58K, if you're holding that for the long term, as in for like the next six months at least, buying below 58K is going to be an exceptional buying opportunity. So for example, if I was a completely new investor, I've just come across this channel just here and I missed out on all of these lower prices. What I would be doing right now is simply dollar cost averaging into these current prices. Never go all in at any particular price because it's not impossible for Bitcoin to come crashing back down, even though in my opinion, it's now unlikely for Bitcoin to have a big crash. Technically, the price can always still come down lower. And so you want to always have a bit of cash left over to buy at any lower prices in that scenario. That's why dollar cost averaging is simply the best strategy for beginners. And once again, my prediction for the end of this month is upwards of 60,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. I've been calling for $60,000 per Bitcoin before the end of March for a long time on the channel now for probably more than a month ever since Bitcoin was below 40,000 US dollars. I've been telling you guys once again for ages now on the channel that before the end of this month, before the end of March, Bitcoin will be at around $60,000 or more. But yeah, anyway, just zooming out to the four hour chart, as you can see here, if I draw out this line of resistance here, once again, this is another pattern I've been talking about for a while now on the channel. This is obviously an inverse head and shoulders. We've got that left shoulder just here. We got the head down there and then we saw the final right shoulder just here. And this right here is obviously a bullish pattern for Bitcoin. And my exact price target for this pattern is all the way up here at around 61,000 US dollars. So once again, Bitcoin is just initially breaking out to the upside of this pattern, which is already incredibly bullish. And just zooming back into the two hour chart once again, as you can see here, the volume is beginning to pick up as we're 
breaking out to the upside. This right here, this is exactly what we want to see. We want a nice pickup in volume as we break out to the upside. We do not want volume levels to stay low. So yeah, once again, as Bitcoin was breaking out, we did see volume levels that exceeded previous volume levels down here. So that's one way of confirming the breakout is real. And the second method that I use to confirm that a breakout is real is simply to pay attention for a retest of support. So once again, these resistance levels are coming in at around 52 to 53,000. So already Bitcoin has come back down to around 53.3K approximately. But I mean, if we had a little bit lower towards 52 and a half, and if we got a bounce somewhere around there, then honestly, that would be just immensely bullish for Bitcoin. Now there is a small Fib level coming in at around 55K. That's just the 78.6% Fibonacci level. So we could see a little bit of resistance there, but I wouldn't be expecting much resistance at around 55K. I would on the other hand, expect some more big resistance to come in at the all time high at around 58,000 US dollars. And that would really be the last resistance before that $61,000 price target that I already just told you guys about. So yeah, those are all of my price targets to the upside. And I should just mention here, if Bitcoin does come back down to retest these levels of support, the levels that we should be paying attention to for Bitcoin to get supported at, currently there will be some big support coming in at around 52 and a half thousand US dollars. So yeah, once again, if Bitcoin were to come back down, expect a bounce at around 52K approximately. All the way down to around 51 and a half thousand is kind of the lower end of this range of support on the chart. Obviously, if we break back below 51,000, that isn't really too good for Bitcoin short term. But in my opinion, it's more likely that we hold these levels now that we have broken above. Once again, it's going to be incredibly important to pay attention to those levels because those levels essentially determine the price trends for Bitcoin over the next few days and weeks. I've always been bullish for Bitcoin long term, but throughout this period just here, I entered pretty bearish for Bitcoin. And obviously that worked out because the Bitcoin price continued to fall. And as soon as I called that exact bottom at 43,000, so yeah, right around there, that's when I switched bullish on Bitcoin. And obviously ever since that 43K bottom, Bitcoin has done nothing but go up. So congratulations to all of my loyal subscribers on this channel that have been watching all of my videos all the way through. Because if you guys, once again, have been accumulating Bitcoin throughout these lower price areas as I have on this channel, then obviously right now you're in some nice profits. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe down below. Join us on this ride and it's free to subscribe down below. So what are you waiting for? Just quickly subscribe down below with notifications turned on and I'll be sure to keep you updated with some more valuable information each and every day in the crypto markets. All right, now heading over to the Ethereum US dollar charts. We're on the four hour chart chart for Ethereum. And as you can see, Ethereum has obviously followed Bitcoin on this massive breakout to the upside. In my last video that I recorded around here, just before we got the breakout, I said that the 1700 US dollar level will be a bit of resistance for the Ethereum price, considering that we did see some resistance there earlier. And we initially got a small rejection off that level. And then we actually broke above that level, came back down to retest it as support and continued to head higher. So this was one big confirmation that we did break out to the upside, which is obviously extremely bullish for Ethereum. Around four days ago now on the channel, I made a video when Ethereum was around 1500 approximately. And I told you here that Ethereum will hold this support at around 1430. And in that exact video, I also showed you that I bought a lot of Ethereum to hold for the long term. In fact, down at these lower levels here throughout this correction, I've accumulated around 30 to $35,000 worth of Ethereum. And once again, I've been saying that on the channel for quite a while now, for almost a week. And I've been letting you guys know that a massive run for Ethereum is coming soon. And once again, we've seen exactly that. As you can see from this low, we've come up around nearly 30% to the upside in four days. Now, just drawing out this small line of resistance that we had previously on the Ethereum chart. As you can see, just like Bitcoin, we did form this inverse head and shoulders pattern on the four hour time frame. Once again, Ethereum broke out of this pattern about two days ago now. And I let you guys know about that exactly as it was happening. And I said in my last few videos that my Ethereum price target for this breakout trade is coming in at this price level just here. And that's coming in at exactly 1,950 US dollars, which is obviously just below the Ethereum all time high. So this is pretty bullish stuff. Honestly, between 1950 and the all time high itself, which is currently 
coming in at around 2040 approximately. Within that entire price range just there, I would indeed expect some resistance for Ethereum. So yeah, expect a bit of volatility at around those price levels. And once again, those are my price targets for Ethereum within the next few days and weeks. And once again, just like I said for Bitcoin, I expect Ethereum to break above its all-time high this month in the month of March. So accumulating any Ethereum right now while it's still below the $2,040 all-time high is honestly going to be an exceptional buying opportunity if you're holding for the long term. Now just zooming out to the one day chart and bringing out the MACD indicator, as you can see here, Ethereum right now is gathering massive bullish momentum to the upside on the MACD. Pretty much within the last one day, we've seen this massive bullish cross on the MACD and once again, the momentum is switching to the upside and this is on the daily chart. So this is really setting the trend for the next few weeks at least. This right here is honestly incredibly bullish and it further confirms my analysis about Ethereum reaching its all-time high before the end of this month. And just quickly switching to the Ethereum to Bitcoin charts. This is on the one day chart for Ethereum versus Bitcoin. And so far, Ethereum has honestly been playing out perfectly exactly as I've predicted in my last few videos. About one to two weeks ago from now, which was right here on the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart, I was telling you guys that Ethereum is going to begin to bottom out against Bitcoin very soon. And I said that Ethereum is just about to start outperforming Bitcoin within the next one to two weeks. And I was once again saying that right here on the chart about a week or two ago. And ever since then, Ethereum has done nothing but go up against Bitcoin. Ethereum is now outperforming Bitcoin exactly as I predicted. So yeah, we got this massive bounce here at this massive support coming in at around 0.03 Bitcoin per Ethereum. And so far we've come up to exactly 0.0351 Bitcoin per Ethereum, which is this white line here on the chart, as you can see. And I've had that line there for weeks now. I've been telling you for weeks now on the channel that we will see a bit of resistance at around that level. And I've also been telling you that this blue line, which is by the way, coming in at 0.0337 Bitcoin approximately per Ethereum. I've been saying that that level is also a significant level for Ethereum, considering that we saw some massive resistance at that previous level. And yeah, obviously for the last 24 to 48 hours, Ethereum has been bouncing between those two levels that I've already placed on the charts for a few weeks ago now. Once again, I moved over $30,000 worth of Bitcoin into Ethereum down at this low right here. So all in all, I am incredibly bullish on Ethereum. I'm already super bullish on Bitcoin, but honestly, I am even more bullish on Ethereum right now than I am on Bitcoin. And the fact that both Bitcoin and Ethereum are sitting below their all-time highs gives you a perfect buying opportunity to hold for the long term. The fact that you've clicked on the video and watched up to this point in this video should be a sign for you to at least accumulate some Bitcoin and Ethereum at these levels. Once again, do not go all in at any certain price level. That that is incredibly risky. But in saying that, dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin and Ethereum at the current prices, if you've got a long-term mindset, if you're looking to hold for at least the next three to six months, the current prices are an incredibly amazing buying opportunity for you right now. All right, now I'll quickly cut this video just here. I was going to add one of your altcoin suggestions in this video, but I thought my last couple videos didn't do exactly as well as my previous videos on the channel. And I was thinking that could possibly be to do with the length of the video because my last couple of videos once again were quite long so please let me know in the comment section down below if you would prefer just these short and sweet updates for Bitcoin and Ethereum and then you know once every now and again I put one of your suggested altcoins in these videos or let me know if you would prefer me to add your favorite altcoins in these videos all the time even if it means making the duration of these videos much longer so yeah if you have anything to say whatsoever just let me know in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible but yeah if you enjoyed this video please make sure to just leave a like on the video down below once again and if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on for more emergency updates like this going forward i try and pack as much valuable information into these videos as possible to try and help you make money in crypto so yeah if you could just spend a couple seconds out of your day to click like and subscribe down below that seriously means a lot to me and it helps out the channel so much but yeah that's just about all i have to say for this video once again i really hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next video.